thanks for stopping by my channel today. I have my monthly favorites for you all lined up, ready to go. This month is exclusively going to just be makeup products. I didn't plan it that way. It just worked out that way, but I do like to throw in skin and hair sometimes. Although right now I'm feeling like I cannot talk about hair at all. I am so annoyed at my hair right now because it's so fried. I'm tired of curling it. I'm tired of really giving it any attention, which is awful because I mean, there are people out there who don't have hair, um, maybe because of like cancer treatments or something, and they wish they had hair problems. And here I am going, oh my God, I'm so mad at my hair when I have a full head of hair. But anyway, it is completely fried and I've got nothing to say about it, which is why I like to talk about makeup to begin with anyway. But I have been treating it. All I keep doing is putting like oil and stuff on the ends, um, that Garnier smoothing oil, which I mentioned in my uh, last video. I will link that. But um, but anyway, we're going to talk about makeup today because that's where my heart is. Um, if I could just, I can't wait to grow my hair back out and I could just throw it up in a bun any day that I like. Anyway, if you're new to my channel, welcome. I like to talk about life and feelings. Uh, and then also I like to talk about looking good. I also think those two things are definitely related. And so my channel is a mishmash of that. But I do always like to make sure that even when we get nitty gritty and into the deep stuff, I always do like to make sure that we have a good time. So I hope that you enjoy yourself today. If you do, I invite you to subscribe to my channel so that you can join me again. I guess I'm supposed to tell you to hit the notification bell also, especially since I am a teeny tiny channel. Um, my new videos may not show up on your newsfeed. If you hit the bell, I guess you're going to be notified when they pop up. If you're already, if you've already been one of my subscribers, welcome back. Happy to see you. Um, always please feel free to leave me a comment down below. In this case, obviously, let me know what some of your favorite products are this month. Most especially if you've got some favorite hair products, that would be pretty awesome too. Um, by the way, let me just put it out there. I am waiting for a phone call from my boss. And so if she calls, I'm going to answer. So you may actually hear the phone ring in the middle of this video. Um, so I'm just putting that out there. You know, when the boss calls, you gotta answer the phone. So, all right, so let's get into my favorites. I've got a couple of unfavorites, which will be an update from my Sephora haul video. A couple things I didn't like from that video. Um, and then a couple of things that I'm planning and I wanna know your opinion on. So let's get started. The one thing that made me kind of think, oh, is this all makeup or is it's skincare as well. It's not really skincare. It's more makeup because it's a face primer. Although they say it does nice things for your skin. Okay, this is called Hylamide with Matte 12 in it. I learned about this from the channel uh, Nakia Joy. I will link her official um, channel down below. She has a uh, slightly oily skin, or maybe she has very oily skin, but she's got some kind of oil issues like I do. And she said this primer was really good. I kind of went with that and I purchased it. I'm actually almost done and already got a backup of it. It says that it is a 12 hour visible oil blocker and pore vanisher. Now the one by Becca, the I think it's called the Evermatte Lasting Pore, finisher or something, it comes in the, it looks like a tube just like this, but the casing is brown. That one by Becca says to do the same thing, block oil, absorb oil, um, and then also smooth your pores, but it's very tacky. This goes on only a little bit tacky. Um, and I find that, again, I've got combination skin now. I find that it just, it goes on smoothly, but I feel like it gives some oomph for my makeup to have something to adhere to. And I find that it controls my oil without actually drying me out, uh, most especially around my mouth where I tend to, to actually get dry. So it's a very nice, just kind of combination sort of primer. It's made by the, so this is 20 bucks, which is a little bit pricey. It is one ounce for 20 bucks. Um, it's made by the DCM company, D-E-C-I-E-M, which is also the parent company of the Ordinary brand of products, I believe. Um, so this must be like kind of their higher end line, but since they are a skincare line primarily as well, um, I'm thinking that this does really good stuff. Honestly, I got it strictly because it is a primer and I needed something to smooth me out and absorb my oil and it feels really, really good. So I definitely like that. Um, I... This is an oldie but goodie, but since this is a favorite, that doesn't mean that everything has to be brand new. I totally just dropped it. Hold please. Oh 
okay, I'm back. Um, an oldie. <laughs> so silly. Um, an oldie but goodie is by Hourglass. It is their Vanish um, foundation stick. Um, I've had it for a while. I've used it for a while. And then, I don't know, maybe my hair is taking so much of my attention and my time. Um, I'm in the morning, I'm just like, I have no time to sit here for like 40 minutes doing my makeup. And so, why are we all not using stick foundations when we are in a rush? It is so easy to blend. It takes like no time. I love the coverage on this. Um, doesn't make me matte and look unhealthy. Doesn't make me look oily and sloppy and nasty. It's just like the most perfect balance. In case you're curious, I use the shade Buff, which I feel like, I'm wearing it today. I feel like it might be like a hair. Oh my God, I dropped it again. <laughs> just gonna leave it there. Uh, I feel like it might be a hair, too much of a yellow undertone for me, but Honestly, at the end of the day, I mean, a foundation never like 100% matches you anyway. You just try to get as close as you can. Um, but anyway, um, I'm wearing it today. It's ridiculously hot outside and humid um, here where I am in New York, and it's holding up very nicely. Uh, going along with the face, I think I've mentioned this recently, but I, it definitely needs to be called out as a favorite. It's by Estee Lauder. It's their Double Wear Stay in Place Flawless Wear Concealer. Um, I love it. It's a little bit thinner than the Tarte Shape Tape. Um, I find that the color shade, this actually matches me 100%, and so I'll then usually follow up with a slightly lighter setting powder underneath my eyes if I want to go for a brightening effect. Otherwise, I can kind of just match my skin tone and just take away the redness and the dark under eye circles. Um, so I find that that works really well, stays in place. I'm not gonna say it doesn't crease because honestly, all under eye concealers crease for me. I don't care who you are. And I know that there's techniques that take you like a solid 20 minutes in order to prevent the creasing. Listen, people, I smile a lot. I got some lines underneath my eyes. And if they fill in with makeup a hair bit, I do prime under my eyes. I use that primer, by the way, underneath my eyes as well. Um, but you're gonna get creasing. You can't get away from the creasing. Um, and so it's mild though. There are some others that like do a crazy, crazy job. And so this creases very mildly. Uh, usually about halfway through the day, I'll just kind of pat underneath there and the creasing goes away. I love the shade selection. By the way, one of the things I was about to talk about towards the end, um, one of the things I had hauled during the Sephora VIB sale was the Laura Mercier um, under eye concealer. I had, it's a great concealer. I love the Flawless Fusion foundation. I had to return that concealer because the shade selection sucks. There is such a jump in between shades that if one of them doesn't really match you, you really have no place else to go from there. So I did return that and as a result of that, I picked this up and I have been loving it. And I'm almost done with that tube. I'm gonna get some more. Um, I picked up by Stila. This is my fourth bottle, jar. This is the, um, what do they call it officially? The Shimmer and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow. I got, this is the shade Jezebel. I have another one of the Shimmer and Glows. Hold on, I've got them right here. I've got the other Shimmer and Glow in Kitten, which is that kind of like pinky champagne-y, kind of silvery. I've got two of the Glitter and Glows in Kitten Karma and Wonderlust. Um, this is the one, the one that I most recently got was the shade Jezebel, and it's a beautiful rose gold. Um, so what I like about them is this. I mean, is it like this outstanding, like, super flashy color no because you know what i don't do super flashy colors i just can't, i like i i love eyeshadow it's like my favorite thing to do but like you're not gonna find me in like a metallic sea foam green and in fact that's the reason i have not picked up the jaclyn hill palette because i find that there are just too many um blues and like brights in there and that's not me. So my most like risky move that I do is I go for extra shimmer. I don't even really do glitter so much, although the glitter, glitter and glows uh, that I'm about to show you in a second. Um, this is the shade, this is also the shimmer. This is the shade Kitten. So it's just a slightly lighter pink, but at the same time, it's still a lot, a lot of, it's a lot of shimmer and shine, which I do like. This is the shade uh, Wonderlust. Um, this is kind of, I don't want to say holographic, but it's got some kind of colored dimension to it. It's a gold um, base, but it's got reflective colors in it. And it also has, obviously, a little bit of glitter in it. 
I apply these um, like with a concealer brush. I don't like using my fingertips at any time. I try to touch my face as little as possible. This last one, by the way, is the uh, shade Kitten Karma. And this is, again, one of the glowy ones. This one, that's very sparkly. That's got some colored sparkles in it, actually. Beautiful. That's how I amp up an eye look, like if I'm going out to a special occasion. Like I was saying, I put it on with... Um, with a concealer brush um, so that I can get it where I need it to go and then I will blend like my crease shade or whatever. Um, I'll apply that afterwards so that I can kind of blend it into the liquid which pretty much sets itself. What's so great about them is that you don't get the fallout that you would on some of the more intense shimmers or glitter shadows which I think is phenomenal because you don't want to be sparkling underneath your eyes. Um, okay, what else have I been loving? Just a couple, uh, two more things. Um, I picked up by Marc Jacobs one of his lipsticks finally and this is because I've realized that I really love his makeup as a brand. I love some of the foundation blush, shadow, liner. So I was like, well, let me, oh, uh, lip gloss. I said, well, let me finally try out the lipstick. Um, I picked up the shade Sonic Truth. What is it called? This is the Le Marc, Le Marc um, lip cream. This is kind of a cool pink. It's actually what I'm wearing right now, um, which I don't typically go for. Usually I do a slightly warmer pink, um, but I just thought, you know what? I don't, have a lot of those and if I'm gonna spend $30 on a lipstick um, I like it though it's really comfortable um, it's creamy it's not a matte but it's not a slippery like um, it's not a slippery cream because I don't like those either and so I am so over right now liquid lipsticks I am so tired of getting the ring around my lip no matter what brand you are it doesn't matter I drink coffee all the time and drinking through the straw or whatever just makes that lipstick go bad um, and I hate how it dries it out it's summertime everything's dry right now because of heat even though there's humidity in the air and so I'm so over liquid lipsticks um, and so what I've been using actually is that one by Marc I've gone back to my MAC cream sheens I've been using the NARS audacious lipsticks and the um, Tarte rainforest uh, rainforest of the sea the ones that come in the blue casing um, I've been using those as well I don't even like creamy matte lipsticks right now um, so my uh, Lorac Alter Ego um, matte lipsticks, which I love, I'm like, I just have, I just can't tolerate them right now. I need a little bit of moisture, but not so much that it's going to come off within an hour. So I'm really liking it. I don't, honestly, I don't feel like the shade selection from the Marc Jacobs lipsticks is very broad. I have to go in store. I wasn't impressed with the way the swatches looked like um, at Sephora or whatever. Um, I even looked at some like um, Pinterest um, swatches of the lipsticks and it's not telling me the story. I'm definitely interested in exploring more shades but even if I only settle with that one I'll be okay. A um, couple of things that I have not loved um, and I'm referencing my Sephora like I said my Sephora VIB haul video. I told you that I returned the Laura Mercier concealer. I also sent back the Pat McGrath um, oh shoot I can't remember the name of it. It was the smaller Pat McGrath um, eyeshadow. I think there were eight shadows in it. She's got a weird name where she eliminated the vowels. I'm so sorry. I can't remember it off the top of my head. I'll link it down below or I'll list it down below. Um, so Pat McGrath, everybody always raves about the shadows. Now, I don't know if it's because it was a smaller case. Um, it's mother something. I'm sorry. That so bothers me that I can't remember what it's called. I don't know if it was because it was a smaller version of her shadow palette so maybe she dumbed down the formula I know like a lot of times some of the makeup brands when they make like holiday palettes and those sorts of things when it's when it's different from their standard sometimes they like dumb it down a little bit so I don't know if it was that um I think it was $55 I wasn't impressed I mean and I love eyeshadow and so and I've I pay attention to, I really do pay attention to pigment and how blendable it is. I have a very large canvas um, on my, you know, on my lids and into my brow. Um, and so I need, you know, shadows show up on me and I need them to blend. And honestly, at the end of the day, hashtag not impressed. 
I just wasn't. And so for that money, even at 20% off or 15% off that I got during the sale, I was like, mm -mm, not worth it. And so I brought that back. Um, couple of things that I'm kind of bringing or just I guess something that I'm bringing to your attention. I got a hold of the Hourglass Veil Translucent Loose Powder. Um, so I've been trying that out. I'm actually wearing it today. Um, and so I, I'm interested, I think, in comparing it with the Becca Hydramist powder and maybe also the Laura, Laura, Mer Laura, Laura. Laura Mercier translucent loose setting powder. Please leave me a comment below or thumbs up this video if you would be interested in seeing that um, coming up. Like I said, I'm still kind of playing with it, so that might take me a little bit more time, but um, it's something that I'm exploring right now. Um, and that is what I got for you today. Short and sweet, which is ironic for me because I go on and on. I looked at my last couple of videos. They were all more than 30 minutes. I don't know. Do you like that? Do you like to sit down? and like play one video and not have to keep looking for other videos or like after like, I don't know, eight minutes, are you tired of hearing me talk? <laughs> I don't know, let me know. Also, I've given you like a million things to answer down below in the comment section, but let me know like, um, do you like longer videos or shorter videos? Because I can apparently do both. So I'm gonna stop talking now before this becomes a long video. Um, thank you so much for watching. Like I said, leave me a comment about what some of your favorite products are for this month, because I love reading those most especially. But of course, always leave me a comment about everything. Um, I'm pretty dominant on Instagram. I do also have a Twitter account, but I kind of enjoy Instagram a little bit more. Please check me out over there. It is just my full name. Thank you again so much for spending your time with me. I look forward to seeing you in my next video. And in the meantime, thanks. <laughs>